Friends, you ever tried scraping data from websites only to get blocked by a captcha after one minute? Or worse, your IP gets banned and you lose access completely. Frustrating, right? My name is Daniel and in this video, I will show you a complete setup built around five essential tools for web scraping. You will see how it feels when the browser looks natural and the final data arrives without constant blocks or interruptions. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. Folks, it's time to talk about why scraping seems simple but breaks in the real world. When you open a website, you see text, images, buttons, but underneath it's just HTML code. Web scraping means your program reads that code and extracts the data you need, from product prices and news articles to contact details. Sounds pretty straightforward, but modern websites use antibot systems that build a digital fingerprint of your browser. They analyze hundreds of parameters to figure out if you're human or a bot. Mates, these systems check if your IP address matches your time zone. They read browser headers to see what platform you're on and what languages you accept. WebRTC can leak your real IP even when you use a proxy. Canvas and WebGL fingerprints reveal how your hardware renders graphics. Audio fingerprints track sound processing. Your font list, screen size, and resolution all get checked against your claimed location. Browser history matters too. Fresh browsers with zero cookies look suspicious immediately. Real users have messy browsing data, saved logins, and accepted consent banners. Friends, when these signals don't line up, you get flagged. A few inconsistencies together trigger an instant ban. This is why basic scraping fails. Anti-bot systems don't just check one thing. They look at the complete picture and spot inconsistencies fast. Even your behavior gets tracked. How you scroll, move your mouse, pause before clicking. A reliable setup must create a coherent fingerprint. The browser needs to look natural, behave consistently, and maintain a session that feels lived in. Only then does the site treat the visitor as a real user rather than a scripted client. The tools we use next build that stability, and together they form the foundation of a scraping system that survives modern detection. So guys, first up is Playwright. This is a library that lets your program control a real browser. Instead of you clicking buttons and typing into forms, your code does it. Playwright handles the entire browsing flow and allows automation to interact with websites as if a real user were guiding each step. It works with all major desktop browsers and gives automation a stable, predictable environment for real projects. First, it needs to be installed. The library goes in through pip, and then the command Playwright install Chromium downloads the engine that will run the session. Chromium is the open source build of Chrome that Playwright uses behind the scenes. With the setup complete, it is time for a small test. Mates, the goal is simple. Open a website and capture a screenshot from a real window. The script begins with an import that loads the Playwright tools into Python. After that, a function named Test Basic Scraping defines a reusable block that can be called whenever needed. Inside this function, the instance launches with headless set to false. That setting keeps the window visible on the screen, so every step can be observed as it happens. A new page object follows, which behaves like opening a fresh tab. The goto call sends this tab to quotes.scrape.com, a training site created specifically for scraping experiments. The script then calls the screenshot method, which captures the current view and saves the result as screenshot.png. Folks, a short confirmation line appears in the console and the browser shuts down cleanly afterward. When the script runs, the window opens, loads the page and closes once the capture is saved. The image file sits in the project folder and shows exactly what the page displayed. With that basic run confirmed, the next step is to use something less friendly. The target address changes to bot.sanisoft.com, a page designed to detect scripted clients. A few sleep calls are added, so the page can finish loading, and there is enough time to examine the result. When this script runs, the browser again opens and reaches the detection site. Friends, this time, the report lists many red indicators across the screen. The user agent string exposes the automation framework by name. 
The WebDriver property reveals that the session is being driven by code. The engine runs with flags that normal visitors never use, and several common plugins are missing completely. All these signals point in the same direction. Any site with serious protection recognizes this pattern and treats it as a bot long before real data collection begins. This is the limit of automation without extra layers. The behavior is correct, but the identity looks artificial, and that identity becomes a problem. To move further, the setup needs something that changes how the connection looks from the outside, which is where proxies enter the workflow. Guy's proxies sit between the scraper and the target site and pass requests on its behalf. The website sees the proxy IP address rather than the original connection. This setup helps when a specific IP gets blocked. Another endpoint can take over and the script continues to run without exposing the underlying network. For many workflows, that feels like a solid first layer of protection. The effect stops there. Folks, it only swaps the visible address and leaves the rest of the browser identity unchanged. Everything that describes how the environment behaves still looks the same, from language and time zone to fingerprint signals. This creates subtle but serious inconsistencies. A United States IP can appear together with an interface locked to another language. The clock may report a European offset, while the screen profile matches a phone from a different region. Modern antibot systems read that pattern as a warning. They treat the visitor as unreliable, slow down responses, trigger captures, and eventually block further access. Mates, the problem does not come from the address alone, but from the way it conflicts with the rest of the fingerprint. Many teams keep investing in new proxy pools and aggressive rotation and still hit the same limits without a tool that synchronizes address, environment, and browser identity, the scraping stack remains fragile. The next component in the pipeline solves this alignment problem and becomes the core of the entire setup. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Go login is the component that holds the entire scraping setup together. Automation and proxy routing handle movement and network paths, but none of that works on modern sites without a stable identity layer. This platform creates that layer by giving each browser instance its own environment that behaves like a genuine user profile. Each environment carries its own fingerprint. Each profile uses a fingerprint shaped by its time settings, rendering behavior, and browsing characteristics, which together form a natural and consistent identity. Friends, GoLogin generates these traits automatically, and every profile looks distinct. Nothing repeats, nothing appears synthetic. Everything aligns in a way that reflects natural usage. The benefit becomes clear when a proxy is added. A new address often breaks the illusion when the browser still behaves as if it belongs elsewhere. This platform resolves that tension by adjusting the profile to match the location behind the address. Language settings, time offsets, and general behavior shift into a coherent shape. The visitor now feels consistent from every angle, and the site treats the session as authentic. Mates, another essential feature is state persistence. Once a session begins, it records each step and carries those signals into the next run. Cookie notices stay dismissed, logins remain active, and the browsing pattern grows richer over time. A session that remains stable across days appears far more trustworthy than one that starts fresh on every launch. This continuity reduces friction and keeps interactions smooth even on sites with heavy protection. Go login also works naturally with automation. Each environment exposes a direct control address that integrates with external tools. When the script connects to that address, it takes control of a real browsing session rather than a detectable automation frame. The result is predictable, steady behavior that passes through the early detection layers without raising suspicion. Folks, collaboration features support teams that rely on shared profiles. Several operators can work with the same environment without exchanging credentials or rebuilding entire setups. Every action remains synchronized and the browsing state stays intact regardless of who handles the task. A short manual demonstration shows how these ideas behave in practice. A new environment launches with its own identity. When it reaches a detection page, the report shows no warnings. 
the fingerprint aligns with the visible region, browser behavior looks natural, nothing exposes a synthetic pattern, the session can visit any target site, accept banners, and create a short browsing trail that enhances credibility. The same environment becomes available to automation once the manual review ends. Guys, a script connects to the control address, performs the required actions, and exits cleanly. The profile then shuts down, but its internal state remains stored. On the next run, everything resumes from the same point. The integration through the programming interface makes the process straightforward. The Python package connects the script to GoLogin, so each profile starts correctly and exposes a single control address for automation. The scraper then interacts with the target site through a session that already looks natural. When it finishes, the environment stops while preserving all internal traces for future work. A test run demonstrates the result. The script builds a new identity, launches it, and loads the detection page. Friends, no warnings appear. The site sees a visitor whose signals match at every level. The environment shuts down afterward and can return tomorrow with the same behavior, the same stored decisions, and the same browsing context. This identity layer solves the core issue that blocks most scraping systems. Without it, automation leaks signals that expose the session instantly, captures increase, bands appear without warning, and proxy rotation burns through budgets without producing stability. With it, the session stays consistent, and the entire pipeline remains functional even under strict protection. Scalable scraping depends on a coherent digital identity, and GoLogin provides exactly that. The setup becomes predictable and efficient, and every other tool in the stack finally performs as intended. Mates, once the browser loads a page and passes detection, the workflow must convert that page into structured information. Python libraries such as Beautiful Soup handle this stage by taking the HTML source from Playwright and exposing a navigable document tree. The parser moves between containers, follows relationships inside the structure, and locates the specific fields required for the current task. This stage turns noisy markup into a predictable map that the script can understand. The library interprets nested blocks, cleans awkward formatting, and isolates the sections that carry real meaning for the project. Friends, even pages that mix dynamic and static contents become manageable once their structure appears as a consistent hierarchy with clear boundaries. With the content organized, the workflow gains direct access to usable values instead of raw tags. Text can be trimmed, numbers converted into proper types, and dates normalized for later analysis. The output of this tool is a shaped representation that fits cleanly into whichever storage layer comes next. At this point, the pipeline moves from simple page access to genuine information extraction. Guys, after parsing completes, the collected values need a reliable place to live, so they remain useful beyond a single run. Storage turns one-time scraping sessions into a growing dataset that can support monitoring, reporting, or downstream processing. Small projects may start with flat files, which stay easy to inspect during development and work with common tools. Larger setups often use databases because they handle growth smoothly and keep information stable even when the project expands over time. Some teams send results directly into cloud storage or analytics systems, allowing dashboards and models to refresh as new records arrive. The destination depends on growth rate, read patterns, and how strictly the project must control history and backups. Folks, a clear schema keeps related fields together and prevents information from spreading across many loosely formatted exports. Older runs can be archived without losing context, while new runs append or update records in a controlled way. Everyone involved knows where to find the latest version of each field, and automation scripts reuse the same saving logic. With this final tool in place, the scraping pipeline functions as a continuous process rather than a series of isolated experiments. Okay, mates, let's wrap it up. A scraping setup becomes dependable only when the browser identity stays consistent across sessions and aligns with the network environment it operates in. 
When those elements drift apart, even simple requests fall into detection traps that interrupt the entire process. The system works as intended only when identity, routing and automation support one another instead of creating conflicting signals. GoLogin provides the stability required for this kind of workflow. Its profiles hold a stable identity that evolves over time and adjusts naturally to the conditions of the network they operate through. With that foundation in place, automation becomes predictable and the pipeline can grow without constant resets or unexpected blocks. GoLogin turns scraping from a fragile experiment into a repeatable operation. Friends, grab the link in the description and apply the code TECHDATA to unlock your discount and start building this setup today. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.